Hi, this is Judy. Well, you're probably wondering <laughs> how this could be five days after my surgery and I look like this. I am too. But um, actually things are going pretty well. They, as, oh, I'll just back up, but I'll tell you the main reason I'm in this condition is because there was a tear in the dura, which my surgeon expected, and um, I have been on complete flat bed rest since then, waiting for that to heal. Um, they did something called a bloody, uh, a bloody repair, I believe, a bloody patch. Um, and uh, I think it's healing well, but it's just so slow. Um, this is Tuesday morning about 4 o'clock, and the reason I'm doing this now is because this clock has been mocking me, I tell you. The time has just crept by, minute by minute. I will wake up um, sometimes four and five times an hour thinking that I've slept two hours, and I'll look and see, and it's been ten minutes or five minutes. It's so frustrating, but um, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, surgery was Thursday. I had the um, the port or the central line inserted on Wednesday. Um, Wednesday evening was kind of uneventful. My daughter and, and husband were with me at the hospital or at the hotel, just uh, about a mile away, and. Uh, Thursday morning we came to the, to the hospital and um, got checked in and everything went just fine and just a, a great uh, group of people here. I met at uh, Barnes Jewish Hospital and uh, University of or Washington University Medical Center in St. Louis and uh, they have about 8,000 employees here, and I was laughing yesterday, and I said, I think I've met 7,500 of them because it's been um, it's been a long five days. Lots of lots of pokes, lots of sticks, lots of temperatures and different things. But um, the my surgeon is Dr. Keith Bridwell, and he has a reputation for being very very um, detail oriented, very um, conservative in his uh, practice as far as not rushing things and uh, he has just extremely high standards of, of uh, who he will um, allow to work for him and that's fine I have no problem with that I'm, I'm really thankful that uh, that he is uh, that he does have such high standards um, we went in, the, the surgery was about, uh, was scheduled for 7.30, and as far as I know, it it, it went as long as it was supposed to. Um, the the good news is, he didn't have to go up as high. He was talking about maybe T11, um, but he just did uh, up to uh, L4, L5 from the sacrum up. So all of my lumbar vertebrae are fused, and the biggest uh, problem, as I mentioned earlier, with the bony spur is in the L3, L4 range. Um, <clears throat> the I'm not sure how many hours. I think it was about six or seven hours of surgery. Um, I've been in a room, um, a semi-private room, but it's been private the whole time, with the exception of just the first few hours that I was here, and uh, so that's been nice. Um, my daughter has been with me and my husband, and yesterday my daughter came from Indianapolis to join us. Um, and so it's been nice having someone here, although I haven't been the best company. Um, most of Dr. Bridwell's patients, the nursing staff says, are up, you know, within the first day walking. And, uh, but this is uh, day five, and he said that uh, if things continue to go as they have, that I will be able to uh, perhaps sit on the edge of the bed on Friday, so or maybe even next Monday. So um, they are not taking any chances that this 
that that patch will not hold and uh, so that's how it goes. Um, the the days are just interminable. Uh, if I had had the uh, the first couple of days, I truly truly wondered if it was the right thing to to do. I just was uh, feeling um, a lot of pain and a lot of um, I don't know, not misgivings, but just wondering if it was the right thing. But every day since then has been better. And uh, even though I don't look very good, I, I know that I'm doing better every day. Um, this morning, I'm my mouth is drier than it has been for the last couple of days because um, they've got me hooked up to an IV that my central line, um, something broke on it. And so they're going to have to replace it today. And uh, so yesterday they had to insert an IV to... to uh, and prepare for that little procedure and they're going to come here to my room to do that. It would have kind of been nice to get out for a change of pace to see something different besides these 54 tiles on the ceiling but uh, anyway it's um, it's going okay. I have um, I usually um, roll myself using that log roll technique and um, and I can even lay on my stomach, actually. I don't know that I'm supposed to. <laughs> One of the nurses came in and saw me that way, and she said, are you supposed to be on your stomach? And I said, well, nobody told me I couldn't. But um, I I don't usually, but, uh, but it can be done. I have a catheter, which is an annoyance in some ways, but a, a blessing in others. Um, and uh, I understand that it will stay in until I leave. I did have... Um, some drains from the wound and and uh, didn't ever have any uh, spinal fluid in those drains and uh, the drains were removed on Sunday by uh, doctors Dr. Bridwell's fellow um, Dr. Matt Kang or Kong I'm not sure how you pronounce it exactly K-A-N-G and um, really neat guy and um, he was the one that was here primarily over the weekend giving me updates. On Sunday I got to to go from my breakfast in a bag to um, a soft diet or a liquid diet. It was supposed to be clear but I, I had some things that weren't clear so I'm not sure what the definition of, of clear is but um, really great strawberry smoothie I loved. Um, yesterday they changed me to a regular diet and uh, the food here is good I just don't have much of an appetite um, the uh, with food came the need for bowel movement and uh, that's gone as good as can be expected I think the one thing that that uh, they wanted to be sure is that I wouldn't strain and so I've been getting uh, stool softeners from the from well before I started eating food and uh, they um, it just went fine. The first time I did it I used a, a suppository and then last night I didn't and so I'm, I'm pleased with that. Um, as I said my family's been here. My grandson is almost 10 and uh, he came up on Sunday evening and was just not quite prepared, I don't think, for to see Grandma in this. It, when he saw the incision, he was he was pretty surprised. He was not expecting that um, because all of his experience with uh, cuts have been his own, or you know, accidents that happen on the playground or at home, and so um, he just wasn't expecting anything quite that vivid. Um, my incision at some point I'll show you, but uh, it's. Um, I think about seven or eight inches long, um, and they use steri strips. There's no, no uh, st stitches in there.